Alright, welcome to November 2022 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. This month we've got some really interesting galaxies to start off with. Uh, I'm using different kinds of paints here. One of them is going to be like the kind of paint you can find in the United States and the other one's going to be Comex, but the techniques are, are pretty similar and you can also do many of these techniques with water-based paint. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a really cool, mysterious galaxy. I call this the Christmas galaxy because it's got uh, red and green and white. I thought that was kind of cool since uh, we're, we're getting to that place in the year. So if you would enjoy learning some really cool galaxy techniques, check this out. And uh, to follow it up, we've got another amazing galaxy, which actually uh, is an improvisation that Hedardo and I did together. And I treasure treasure this moment that we were painting together. Uh, he's got some really, really cool ideas with how to get like these rainbow, rainbow kind of galaxies. And, uh, and you see, if you notice that he's going to put a big uh, planet and a small planet and he's using a CD to do that. So sometimes that can be a little difficult to, to figure out how to do that uh, when you're painting live. So if you're curious about that, this is a good thing to pay attention to. It's subtle, but uh, important, important things to know so that you have options about what to paint. And I love the way this looks at all its, at all its different stages. And then he's adding some, some other more wet techniques to what he's already done. And then those are my hands, <laughs> adding all kinds of just little accents and comments and halos and stuff like that. So I'll show you how all that's done so that you can, you can improvise your own galaxies as you wish. And create lovely backgrounds for whatever uh, painting you're, you're doing. And then we're going to do something completely different. We're going to do fish. So really, uh, you know, detailed fish with all the scales and just a, a lot of illustrative sort of flavor. So if you're interested in how illustration with spray paint artworks, there's some really cool techniques that you can use uh, that are probably not what you would expect. <laughs> you really can't do this with any other kind of paint. It's kind of like a mini printmaking technique. And then on top of that, you layer some glazes. So I'm going to show you how to make an underwater background, and then I'm going to show you how to how to do the fish. But the technique that I used to do the fish for the fish, you can use to make any kind of illustration that you want. And then we're going to paint a waterfall, a jungle waterfall, with some birds. Yay! <laughs> Lots of cool stuff in this one. I love the process, and of course, uh, this will work with um, any any style of painting you you want to use, whether you're using water-based or solvent based paints so as always if you have any questions please do feel free to email me elisa amore at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com if you'd like to get some lessons go to spraypaintartsecrets.com and check out all the different lesson packages we have we have a package which gives you for cheap you know just like a whole bunch of videos every month and you also get access to a resources section with all kinds of techniques or if you want to like get a ginormous library of over 400, maybe over 500 at this point, I'm not even sure if to count, uh, lesson videos of just a million zillion things. You can get the gold membership and there's also packages of, of like uh, galaxy paintings and underwater paintings, etc. And painting in Spanish and Espanol. Uh, so here's another video that we've got in our set for this month, of, uh, a winter landscape because winter's coming. Hope you've enjoyed the previews. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.